Are there any questions without notice? The Leader of the Opposition has the call. Yes, my question, Madam Speaker, is to the Prime Minister. Will the Prime Minister explain to this House why the events of last night were necessary, and will he end the uncertainty that they have created by confirming the date for the election? The Prime Minister has the call. Thank you very much, uh, Speaker, and I thank the Leader of the Opposition for his question. Uh, let me go to uh, the second part of his question uh, first, which deal with the timing of the election. Uh, as the honourable gentleman knows, the timing of the election is governed by the Australian Constitution. And it's work ha worth having a look at that document, as it is the law which governs all Australians. Secondly, I would simply draw the Leader of the Opposition's attention to the fact the, uh, draw the Leader of the Opposition's attention to the fact that the practice of uh, Prime Minister Keating, Prime Minister Hawke, Prime Minister Howard, Prime Minister Menzies was in accordance with the provisions of the Constitution to identify a date for an election. Uh, I will be no different to any of my predecessors. Now, the Leader of the Opposition again goes to questions of timing. I would draw his attention to facts which are material to the considerations of the government. Number one is the, number one is the timing of the G20 summit in St Petersburg, scheduled for the 6th and 7th of September. Uh, number two uh, is, of course, the timing of the local government, elect, uh, local government oh, referendum. No. And the third, uh, to the Leader of the Opposition, is, of course, uh, the current coincidence of the election date with Yom Kippur. I will therefore go through these issues. I will therefore go through these issues with my cabinet colleagues, and the Leader of the Opposition can rest assured there's going to be an election. It will be held consistent with the Constitution, and if he's looked at the dates, there's not going to be a huge variation one way or the other. And it is for the Australian people to decide, and I look forward to contesting him in these elections on our alternative plans for Australia's the future. Positive plans, not Sturt. slogans. The member for Patterson. The Leader of the Opposition on a supplementary. Yes, uh, to the Prime Minister. Order! Order! The Leader of the Opposition has the call. The Parliamentary Secretary does not. My friend from Tasmania. Thank you. The Leader of the Opposition has the call. Yes. Why should the Australian people accept that their right to choose their Prime Minister has been usurped by faceless men for the second time in just three years. The Prime Minister has the call. Can I, uh, I thank the honourable member for his question, Leader of the Opposition. In the four years that I was Leader of the Australian Labor Party, I faced leaders John Howard, I faced Brendan Nelson, I faced also someone by the name of Malcolm Turnbull, and latterly, most recently, as the honourable member for Wentworth will recall, Tony Abbott. I had four leaders in four years. These are matters for internal to party deliberations in his party and in ours. Let's get on to questions about the country's future. Yeah. 